Hello, welcome to the video for what is a blueprint function library. A blueprint function library is a way to take blueprint functions that may have some form of common use, put them up into a library, and then all of your blueprints can access them, and it keeps things cleaner and tidier. So, for our example, one of our earlier videos was what is UMG. And for that video, I went ahead and I showed and I, I hid different panels to show what UMG is. In order to do that, I had three different functions over here. Toggle startup screen, toggle HUD, toggle pause menu. And if you notice, they're almost identical with the only difference being their target, which is a different panel. This is a good candidate for a blueprint function library. So let's cover how to do that. If we go into our examples and we right click blueprint, blueprint function library, you can go and name your library. I'll go and name this my library. When you open it up, you'll find the basics of a blueprint itself. You have functions, which gives your function names, local variables, which is nice because your functions can store local variables for repeated use, detail panel, your description, which category it's in, some keywords for the function when you're searching for it, the compact node title for basically when it's compacted, if it's public, protected, or private, and if it's a pure function. These are all things that are not unique to Blueprint Function Libraries. These are all things that are normal for any function. Then you have your input and outputs. So, let's see about using this. I've gone ahead and I've created a Blueprint Function Library called my Generic Function Library. And I have one function in it called Toggle Panel. My goal was to try to recreate what I did in those three other functions, but actually make it better. So, let's see it in use. I have a little maybe an RPG layout here some text some hot buttons and a map I can toggle on and off each of the different sections I also have the ability to simply turn off or turn on and toggling works as well so you have a sticky button and then you have toggling buttons now let's see how I went about and did that I made a new function library I went ahead and set up three inputs my widget reference my visibility, which is my slate visibility enum, and then a bool if I want to toggle it on or off. Basically, if I'm going to use the visibility or if I'm going to toggle. That's how I set this up so I can make one node to cover everything. I take my variables, I store them locally for cleanliness, and then I branch. If I have this variable set, which is kind of funny, if I have my set visibility set, then basically I'm saying take the slate enum and just set this panel to that that way I don't have to toggle I can choose okay I want to make this visible or I don't want to make this visible or I want to toggle so it gives me the ability to toggle my toggle so if I do that I basically set the visibility to whatever I passed it in if not I go ahead and switch on my visibility and if it's collapsed or hidden I set it where it's visible using self hit test visible and if it's self hit test visible I do the opposite and I set it to hidden this is my function. This is for my use. So it's customized to what I want. That's the nice thing about this. This is all customized to how you want. You can label it. You can do whatever you want. It's your function library. But here's the nice thing. Now that I've gone ahead and created that, if I go in here, basically I have my five buttons. I have five on-click events. But if you notice up here, I have no functions. I'm using my toggle panel. If I simply right click, type in your function name, and you'll notice it's under your category, toggle panel. And then I went ahead and just did what I wanted to do. For my buttons, I told it to toggle. For my on button, I told it to set it to self hit test, and I told it to go ahead and do that. And for the other one, I told it to set it to hidden. But you'll notice I don't have any functions in here. I'm using my blueprint function library. I've got a nicer, cleaner, blueprint here and then if for example if I was to go in and make a new user interface for this could be my main menu screen and then I need an interface for my HUD with my settings option then maybe I have a loading screen where you can configure your character all of them will have panels and you might want to toggle on and off all those panels well you don't need to recreate the wheel that's the point of the function library I now have one function I can drop in and out as needed, and it's actually universal to allow me to do what I want. 
So basically, as you're going along, if you're recreating things and you think it might have use later on, math functions, UMG functions, health functions, things like that that are easily reusable, toss them in a blueprint function library, save them out. Next time you start up a new project, you can just import that right in using the migrate option. You now have a bunch of things all ready to go. And that's it. That's a blueprint function library.